Capital Jazz Super Cruise, baby, number 15. I'm Lenny Green from The Quiet Storm, and sitting beside me has got to be one of the most beautiful, multi-talented, amazing ladies of music. And it's a pleasure and honor to be welcoming the Grammy Award winner, the lady who is beyond singer, beyond songstress. She's an entrepreneur. She's doing many things. The beautiful Chrisette Michelle. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you are so kind. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Well, I Thank can't be you. kind if it's true. You are great and legendary. Thank you. <laughs> Does legendary make me old? Legendary makes you impactful. Oh, I like that. It makes you I like impactful. That. But you know, you're insightful. Thank you. And you're intellectual. Thank you. I follow you as so many of that are watching right now follow you. You know, it, it's behind music with you. So can can I tap into Chrisette Michelle's world for just a little bit? Sure. I mean, you're a part of you were a part of the uh, the Capital Jazz. 15 crews, mm -hmm. uh, you're no stranger to it. People love what you do, Thank you. embrace what you do, because they love you. Thank you. So how did you enjoy it, first and I've enjoyed it. It's been fun just rubbing up against my peers. It's cool, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, when Eric Benet walks into the steakhouse and you get to hear his order. Uh, it's little things like that for me. On, really? <laughs> yes, I'm still a fan of like great artists. I'm glad you're a fan. I, yeah. Eric, I love you, my brother. <laughs> but. For Chrisette Michelle to say that, she gave you great props. And then he That's gave me a hug, said uh, hi to my parents. Those are the perks. Those are the perks? Yeah. Well, you know what? Those perks for you are just <laughs> as much perks for the regular folk who see you. Gratitude. Your 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 audience loves you uh, for what you do. So can I be a little nosy for just a second sure. and just ask, in Chrisette Michelle's world, what's going on? I have taken out uh, taken it out upon myself this year to put out 52 jazz songs. Uh, I miss jazz. I miss my roots. I just came out of a three-year-long divorce battle, and I just feel like once you come through something, you kind of got to redefine or refine mm. yourself, and so jazz is where I came from. And so every week this year, I've been releasing a new jazz single or song, and it feels so liberating. And for some reason, it's making me fall back in love with my audience all over again. Wow. And for some reason, they already knew this is who I was. Of course. So they're of like, course. finish getting it together, girl. We've been waiting. But Chrisette, you've been very transparent, yes. which you know you don't have to be. Mm -hmm. But you're very transparent with your followers, with your audience. And I think that's what we love most about you Thank is that you. you're real people. Thank so you. at the end of the day, it's like, how can we not? embrace her because she keeps it so real she keeps it so honest and you want the feedback you encourage I want, feedback. I want the feedback because it's art for people I always say if if I was making art for myself I wouldn't ask any questions um, I wouldn't put myself out there but it's literally for people um, one thing that I don't share with people really is the worship side mm. I, I can yeah. never figure out how to record it and release it just do it that's what everybody keeps telling Please me. Just do it. All my friends are like, just put it out there. You're a faithful woman. <laughs> I've watched you. It's, it and freaks me out. I've seen your lives. Mm -hmm. You know it. And God is telling you to do what you really are led Something's to do. telling me, but when I get into the studio and I let it out, it's like, no. do I sell this? Is it $16? No. Is it $3? Like, how no. much is worship? You just bring it to the table. <laughs> yeah, my friends keep telling me. If your friends are telling you, I'm are. a stranger to you. <laughs> you're so you're not I'm a stranger, stranger to you. So if your friends are telling you that, mm -hmm. then I think you should do it because yeah. it's a calling. So, so I have I have some songs that I've recorded that are worship songs. Okay. Um, and I'm going to release, I think I'm going to release at least one this year. Well, I hope you know that anytime you're ready for new music, you can mm -hmm. always feel free to come to the choir song because I'm okay. going to help you help do what I need to do. You'll walk me through that moment. I've walked you through a few moments. That in particular worship, <laughs> that's going to freak me yes, out. Yes, yes. But, you know, let, let's reflect on what you have been through because there's so many women that are watching us right now mm -hmm. that are still challenged and going through relationship battles as well. What could you say to encourage them to push through, not get weak at the knees? It's challenging. It, it takes a lot out of you emotionally, psychologically. So what could you really say to encourage them? Two things. Uh, thing number one is before you decide to separate, go to therapy. Mm. And be separated if that's the thing for you before you separate. Clear that air, clear that space, heal from it before you have to heal from it. Because if you wait until you have to heal, you're going to feel rushed. So, so know what you're doing before you do it. Realize, okay, I think I'm leaving. Let me grieve 
immediately. Let me get through this now. And the person that loves you on the other side of the divorce, the husband or the wife that you're with who loves you on the other side, if they really love you, they'll be with you for that process. Mm. They'll walk with you through it. It'll be uncomfortable, but at the very least, by the time those papers are served one to the other, you'll know that you're making the right choice for you. And can I piggyback on what you said? Sure. Uh, I think people should also not hold another person hostage. Mm -hmm. and, and I say that because I see sometimes one person signs off and the other person is just not signing off. And it's yeah. clear that it's not amicable yeah. and it's not going to happen again. So why not just let the person live their I life? I don't think it's always clear to the other person. And you've got to find grace for that. Otherwise, you're going to be bitter. Mm. I had to find grace for the fact that he was still, he didn't, but babe, you know, but babe. And it's like, no, I, I'm not healthy here. There you go. You know, and then the other side of it is um, there's this weight that won't lift until it's over. You're going to think you're finished healing. You're going to think it's all good. And then when it's really done, you're going to say, oh, my God, I'm totally fine. <laughs> that happens. So wait for that. Don't be discouraged if that doesn't come right away. Capital Jazz Fest. Mm -hmm. You are part of 15 and you are part of previous Capital Jazz System Fest in the past. What could you say to those who are watching right now? For the ones coming up, next Capital Fest, Jazz Fest cruise coming up, what could you say to them that will encourage them to be a part of this fantastic group? One huge thing. Um, we're bringing horns to the stage this year. <laughs> yes, the main yes, stage yes. has got horns. And I made sure of it. Um, the best horns on the planet uh -huh. are here. And there are a few shows with horns. I'm a horn fanatic. I grew uh -huh. up playing the horns. I grew up with, with the jazz band. And so to have them on stage with me, I think it brings us another level of excellence. You're going to see black brothers writing out horn parts and bringing them to the stage. If you're a jazz head, that matters. Are you traditional or contemporary? I'm, I'm traditional, but people like Mike Phillips give us the capacity to experience all of the parts. I mean, he's going to give you Miles Davis. He's going to give you smooth jazz. He's going to take you to Senegal. Um, you got to come. And she's going to give you Sarah Vaughn. And Ella Fitzgerald and everybody else. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a really fun, fun version of Summertime Three Ways. We cannot wait. It's going to be fun. I know it's going to be fun. It's going to be yeah. great. It's going to be phenomenal. Chrisette Michelle is her name. This is the Capital Jazz, baby. And this is how it goes down. So make sure you don't miss the next one because you'll miss out on a lot. Letty Green signing off for now.